Hi boys and girls, for today's math activity, we are going to be playing math memory. Now, you guys remember this from small group math, we will play this in class. So we're just gonna play it at home. Um, if you guys have shapes at home, or if you just wanna watch and, go and do it along with me, you can. Or you can use anything really in your house and play this game in all sorts of different ways. So before we begin, we're gonna be using shapes. Let's go over our shapes. Who knows what shape this is? If you said a rectangle, you are correct. This is a rectangle. Um, how would we describe a rectangle? What do you think? How many sides does this shape have? Let's see. One, two, three, four sides. And how many corners? You see the corners right here? Let's look at the corners. It has one, two, three, four four corners. So it has four sides and four corners and it's kind of like a long square, right? With two equal sides and two equal sides. So that's my rectangle. We have a few rectangles. What shape is this? If you said square, you are correct. Great job. Um, what can you tell us about a square? How can you describe this square? Well, how many sides does a square have? Let's take a look. It has one, two, three, four sides again. It also has one, two, three, four corners. And every side on this is the same size. Okay, so it's four equal sides. So you have a rectangle or square. What shape is this? If you said triangle, you are correct. What can you tell me about a triangle? How many sides does a triangle have? Let's look. One, two, three. It has oh, three sides. And how many corners does it have? Let's see. One, two, three. It has three corners. This is a triangle. Now I have another triangle here. And what happens when I put these two triangles together? What shape is this? We did this in school, who knows? It's a rhombus, a rhombus or a diamond. So if you put two triangles together, it makes a rhombus. And then my last shape I have is this. What shape is this? A circle, good. How many sides does a circle have? It's a trick question, it doesn't have any sides. Or you could say it has one side that just goes around and around and it has no corners, right? This is a corner. Circle does not have any corners. So we have all of our shapes and we're gonna put them on our tray and we're gonna say where they are. And then I'm gonna cover it with a cloth and I want you guys to tell me if anything changed, okay? So on my first slot, I'm going to put a red circle, red circle. So first is a red circle. Next, I'm going to put a yellow triangle. The yellow triangle is next. And last, I'm going to put a green rectangle. Okay, so take a look at my board. I have a red circle, a yellow triangle, and a green rectangle. Take a picture in your mind because I'm gonna cover it and change something up. I'm gonna bring these towards me. All right. <laughs> hmm. What did I change up? Who thinks they know what I changed up? Well, first was a red circle and now it is a blue circle. So I switched out the circles. I didn't touch anything else. It's still a yellow triangle and a green rectangle. So if you got that right, good job. I'm gonna try it again, make it a little trickier. Hmm. Oh, what did I change here? 
I took off my rectangle and my triangle, right? What do you see now on my board? First, I have a blue circle. Next, I have a red square. And last, I have a yellow square. First, a blue circle. Next, a red square. Last, a yellow square. So I changed up a few things. All right, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna change it around. So take a picture of this. Circle, square, square. Could be a pattern. What could come next? Circle, square, square. Circle, square, square. All right. We're gonna do one last one. So take a picture. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, what did I change? I changed my first two shapes, okay? We had a circle on there and a square. Now I have a yellow triangle. A yellow triangle is first. A green rectangle is next. And a yellow square is last, all right? Okay, so math memory is important so that you guys can think and remember what order things are and use your words to help describe the things, right? So this is a red circle, a blue circle, a green rectangle, um, four sides, three sides for a triangle, okay? So make sure when you're looking at things, even just around your house, you use your words to describe the things in your house. All right, boys and girls, good job today. Thanks for tuning in for today's math activity, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.